Um, this is uh, life from my way home by foot from a homie of mine from uh, Oberhahnstadt to Etting. Uh, I thought I'd do this improv vlog thing since I haven't done very much in the last couple of months on my channel. Kind of busy with school and stuff like that. And I sort of failed through a certain test that was kind of necessary in order to uh, continue. But I somehow got the chance to repeat the course, the, the test, basically. Test, yeah. That's exactly right. Uh, yeah, I was listening to uh, some tunes from uh, Heck, Ben Lucas Boysen, uh, Johnson the Chanson de, de Geste. I don't know how to pronounce it, but something uh, along these lines. Beautiful uh, old school, kind of dark ambient stuff like uh, uh, Leyland Kirby, The Caretaker, repetitive loops uh, with uh, sort of synth organs. Uh, by repeating the sort of loop, it kind of creates uh, these mental asylum soundtrack like. Uh, mm, landscapes, so to say, in your mental vision, but, but uh, yeah, great score, I listened to uh, like in uh, two or three years ago, I was kind of switching between different flats and this was like my go-to album to listen to when I fall asleep, because this like uh, mental asylum soundtrack, very comfy, very monotonistic, sometimes beautiful, like morbid melodies, I'd say, like uh, <laughs> sort of hard to describe, like a funeral and everyone is kind of happy that the person died and is on a better place and nobody speaks. It's kind of uh, cathargic that everyone is kind of quietly mourning. No, like widow crying like, oh my god, why did he die? Just a very repetitive, uh, cathargic loops, yeah. Uh, I got spider webs all over me. I just read um, that you have to walk on the other side of the street like in order for cars to recognize you when you're going from one village to another village and you're not able to use a proper sidewalk, you know? And uh, maybe you see this car right now? Yeah, it's kind of looks all right. So you see, I'm definitely holding the can up there. You might see the sort of, let's call it a city, let's call Ingolstadt the city for a moment. You might see uh, the Audi uh, industrial plant from the outside, like one kilometer away from everything. Oh, these motherfuckers always waiting for bright lights, fucking stinks in my eyes. Like, they know this shit, they still do it. And they're, they're not even, they're not even driving under the influence. Is what uh, if they would be drunk to turn on more light? I kind of would understand it, you know. I can kind of understand the perspective of an insane person doing insane things. But I can understand the perspective of a quote-unquote sane person doing insane things. Uh, yeah. So uh, I was listening to these kind of tunes. I'll listen now to Ulf Soderberg. Because I feel like an old Sauerfuss, oh look, full moon, very bright and big. It's like twice as big for me. Uh, I think it's kind of lens distortion dependent. Because the uh, cam has another, a different lens than my eye, my eyes per se. So um, what I was saying is like, I kind of repeat the pattern where I pick out uh, favorite tunes and albums of mine. And uh, I listen to it on the... Uh, this. What the fuck? Was this a bird? You heard that sort of chirping, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Oh, I kind of fell into this repetitive pattern. They're like, uh, like every boomer, uh, started to listen to my, oh, it's my backpack rubbing on my back. Beautiful. Yeah, so um, always the same stuff. And uh, here's the thing. 
I've listened to certain Ulf Söderberg tracks here and there from uh, Johnny Black 13, YouTube channel Dark Ambient Drone Acid Jazz Mixes, whatever. Really great dude. Mm. But uh, today I kind of want to go out of the comfort zone, you know? My plan is some kind of a diet plan right now, uh, counting the calories. Uh, the art and everything is to mix the familiar with new stuff. So today I took another approach. I took uh, a way by foot that I haven't taken in very long time. Plus, I tried to cross over these railroads, but in Germany they're all like extra steps. So you can't fuck up. Like, uh, there's like uh, this bridge. And left and right there are like field ways, ways to walk, yeah, sort of cement on the side and whatnot. And you kind of can somewhat reach these trail tracks, but uh, the thing is, uh, just hold it like that, uh, better than seeing nothing. You can see this, can you see this car? It looks way more distant on the cam. Uh, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Fuck me. I kind of start, kind of have to start thinking more precise. Like a red, red, not forgetting shit and all that stuff. By trying to cross these railroads, you kind of have to go into a ditch, you know? Uh, somewhat a two meter deep ditch. Then go up in order to be able to cross the rails. Then you have to go above this hill. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right from on the right side from the car. And when you uh, cross over this uh, mud hill, not very high, I'd say like five meters high. I'm on a 50 or 100 meter high bridge right now. And uh, wait, my asshole is itching. Let me let me scratch it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh. Oh, I got some pudding on my finger. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Just kidding. Okay, so... <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, you have to go through the ditch, cross the railroads, and go through this mud hill in order to go through another ditch, because this goes like... Uh, it's like main ground level, down, up on the railroads, down through another ditch, up that mud hill, down through another hitch, and then you are on the main street. From the main street, you have to, it's like 20, 30 meters broad. Then you have to cross through another, uh, what is it? Like a ditch here. Yeah? Motherfucker, would you look at that? Turning on this fucking bright lights. No fucking mist around, and especially no rain. This fucker turns it up. And I kind of use the smartphone cam right now in order to protect my fucking eyes. That's a beautiful method, actually. Okay. So, what was I saying? Yeah. Beautiful. The thing is, it's so fucking bright. Um, can I turn on the light? Oh yeah, beautiful. Should have done this when the... Oh, this is a uh, traffic sign like. You can't read it right now. Let's see when you can read it. I can read it already. Wow, the reflection, man. 80 kilometers. Not fucking miles. Like a fucking uh, plat merry mutt. Okay, back to the track, back to the point. As I was saying, Oh yeah, let's turn off the cam. My battery's kind of going low. I've been riding the battery very hard on this smartphone. Oh, uh, as I was saying, oh, wow, beautiful start, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you have to go through all these kind of steps in order to... Wow. Wow, you've got to be shitting me. I fucking hate you guys. I fucking hate you guys so fucking much. Wow, okay, so um, I'm on the other side of the bridge. It's beautifully constructed because here you have a sideway, there you have the road, and sometimes I drove from the road like up to the bridge, and on the right side, there is no fucking, uh, you know, main walk. So when I was driving my bicycle, I was riding up there. Kind of dangerous, but I said fuck it because either you fucking build uh, like a foot walk, way, trailway, I kind of forget all the time what it's called. Yeah, if you can build it on the other side, I can kind of ignore these rules. And the funny thing is, since I, I've became a car driver myself for over two years now, 
I even turn on the lights when I'm on the sidewalk, and I even kind of stop or switch sides when I see a car approach. This is like because you see how people drive, it makes you nuts. As a bike driver, you kind of, if you only drive your bike, you kind of live in this carefree world, you know, like, ignorance is bliss, fuck them all. Either they kind of hit me, and then I can swim, or uh, kind of don't get hit, and uh, approach my goal, my destination, without any further damage. Yeah, so, as I was saying, yeah, uh, I'm looking more for this kind of shit, since I know how to behave as a pedestrian, a bike driver, and a car driver, and in every kind of niche, they're assholes, and I'm also an asshole myself. I also tend to break certain rules, but I always watch out that there are no people. At least I'll endanger certain animals, but uh, yeah, it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, yeah, so I was trying to do this alternative thing, but it's way too tiresome. I mean, it would be faster, because this bridge is like a longer strut, you have to go up and go down, and it's a big bow, therefore a longer distance you have to walk. And the shorter distance would be kinder to go through these short ditches and mud hills. But uh, it's also a little bit safer by the bridge. And there's the big thing, if I would have crossed the trail tracks, which is sort of illegal I suppose, um, I would have waited until all the white noise disappeared from all the cars, cars surrounding me. So there would have been that. Look, uh, the moon is kind of, can you see the moon right now? Yeah, kind of uh, blurry because of the clouds appearing. So blah blah blah, alternative routes, jumping out of the routine uh, and uh, kind of approaching a new diet thing where I really actively count and document every motherfucking calorie I have as intake. I kind of, the main goal is, the, the main goal, not Mangler, the main goal, I <laughs> talk to Mangler, um, Main goal is that I, uh, for every kind of size, you know, every height has a certain BMI, body mass uh, index. Yeah, body mass index. So um, for I'm one meter and seventy-five centimeters big, long, yeah, tall. Tall was the proper word in this kind of scenario. Yeah, and uh, the last time. I went, uh, I stepped on a scale, I had like 95 kilograms, way too much. Kilograms, not kilograms of steel, kilograms of fat. Yeah, and uh, the cool thing is, like, my BMI would be 80, kilom uh, 80 kilo kilograms would be um, normal weight, 60 would be underweight, and 58 would be extreme underweight. And my goal is to reach underweight. Why? Because there have been certain studies and reach is research that uh, skinny people tend to live longer, generally speaking, uh, because their metabolism is uh, slower, I guess. Or uh, the um, what was it? The body is forced to reproduce uh, cells more quickly, more fast, you know. Therefore, um, reproducing the shit uh, faster. And the cool thing is, um, the main formula, I love this formula. Like, seriously, I've seen so many formulas in my life, like this and that, uh, divided by pi, multiplied by 9.37896, you know, stuff like that. That's beautiful. I gotta say, man, I kinda have to jizz when I tell you guys about this formula. Allegedly, it's like, let's say you want to, uh, your goal is to have a weight uh, of 100, 100 kilograms. It would be uh, 100 kilograms uh, times 24 hours a day, you know, like uh, a day has 24 hours. And this is like the kilogram calorie intake you have to, the calorie intake you have to focus on. So in this kind of case it would be 2,400 calories, you know? And uh, my main goal is like uh, 60 kilograms, which would be underweight, 
and 58 kilograms would be highly underweighted, like uh, not anorexic, like skeleton-like, you know, <laughs> sort of like uh, Holocaust survivors, sort of. My main goal is to like two or three, to be two or three kilograms above this. And uh, A, you kind of save money. B, you live longer. Three, you can stretch down easily, more easily. Four, I can kind of see my penis easier than otherwise, like uh, usually. I uh, have like this fat ball, you know, my fat bulge of the stomach to carry around. And it's kind of, uh, it was like a funny meme for a couple of years. Look at me, I'm the fat retarded guy farting and shitting and pissing everywhere. But, uh, I've come to the point, I hate to say it, but at a certain point you kind of grow out of stuff. And I hate to say it, but I think this is what happened to me. Like, being fat isn't funny anymore, it's kind of sad and tragic. And uh, luckily, luckily, um, I haven't been very fat. I had like troubles breathing here and there, and uh, stuff like that. But it never got too serious. Plus, I have like asthma. And asthma plus uh, adipositas, uh, being overweight, being a fat piece of shit, uh, isn't good. Let's suppose I kind of contract, I kind of receive a beautiful gift called corona infection from somebody coughing at me, or by smear infection, just by accident or on purpose, doesn't matter. Uh, uh, illness is either way the same. And if I'm fat, and I have asthma, and I get corona, like I'm twice as fucked as when I just have asthma, and I'm underweight, but I have corona. Like, you know, skinny people have less problems breathing. But here's the thing. Like, uh, yesterday, I was out on a walk with a buddy, and had a cigarette. I'd say one cigarette a week isn't too bad, but this is like... Uh, kind of starting to become a pattern of this one cigarette, you know, it kind of hits hit so sweet. Especially like today I had like four caffeinated beverages and uh, wow, this was just beautiful. Like, it's like this sort of tingling, you know this kind of tingling when, when like a cigarette hits, like stimulants, you know, oh, it's like uh, your nerve endings getting tickled. I love this sort of feeling. I know, it sounds like an addict is talking, but what can I say? You have to become an addict at certain points. And a funny, 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 fun fact, stuff that nobody ever tells you is like, uh, drugs, the most drugs don't have calories. You know which drug definitely has calories? Uh, alcohol. Not per se, so, uh, as far as I know, but uh, alcohol gets like converted into Toxic alcohol and non-toxic alcohol, and these two get also split up in four other elements, and these four other get also split up in eight. As far as I know, don't quote me on that shit. But the funny thing is, alcohol makes you fat. Other drugs don't make you fat. But here's the thing: uh, THC tends to make you hungry. Allegedly, I don't know. I'm not a pothead myself. I tried pot a couple of times, but. Uh, I'd say it's not my stuff, you know. I've seen too many, too many people, too many brilliant people, I'd say, like, uh, falling in this routine, like, 420 baking, dude. It sounds like, like a, an asshole, but, uh, I have, like, one buddy who smokes on a regular basis, but he's cool, you know. But if, I'd say it's, like, one out of ten, or one hundred of, one out of hundred, because all the other people I met, they're like, uh, apathetic, not doing anything, like, no main goals. There's one dude who smokes, he just, like, goes, and you kind of appreciate it. He, in some certain ways, I'd say he's even uh, performing better than I do. Especially at his age, at, at his age, I was doing way shittier stuff. You see this? This is like, a uh, fucking moped. Oh, this is the bridge. Now I see where I am. Wow, the sound is coming from the right side. What is it? Nah, this is another uh, vehicle. I thought like 
is like an acoustical illusion. So basically, what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, uh, certain drugs induce like eating more. And especially like, I read something very interesting about uh, amphetamines. I don't know how much this is true, but uh, people who consume amphetamines like speed, uh, also known for some people as Adderall, uh, I don't know the proper chemical term right now. Uh, they kind of take speed, you know, and then they're less hungry. Also allegedly pres prescribed in America to suppress hunger. But the moment the, the dose starts to fade off, you kind of get these hunger attacks. Therefore, you're binge eating and get way more fatter than when you just stayed sober and try to wean yourself off from the fat. You kind of have to wean you off from everything. Like the problem is, uh, I kind of fear of this moment where I will be, look, like a train man. Uh, there will be a moment, like, right now, I'm coming, I'm, I'm nothing, you know, born like once or twice a day. But there will be a time when I will be, be, when I'll be so fucking anorexic that I'll, like, uh, I'll skip coming, you know. Uh, and uh, kind of neglects the porn consume. Which is a good thing, but it's like the one poison cancels out the other poison. In order to satisfy my one need to become like a thin fuck, uh, I have to cancel it out by watching, by stop watching porn. Which, ironically, would help to reduce body fat by burning calories. But uh, yeah, we'll see about that. And there's also the aspect of winter, sooner or later kicking in. I fucking love summer, man. Like, this is like my favorite season, sort of. You know, even though I have these, hate these spider webs everywhere, I'm on the main track course, uh, course road again, which I always take. Mm. Here, let's turn on the light for a short second. It's like the main way I'm walking. Very wide shoes, like everybody can see it from everywhere. It's like fields behind me is the main road and uh, yeah so I didn't think I would talk this much and this long and improvise that kind of uh, duration like the last vlog I did was in December and uh, I had like very good subjects and I talked not that much right now improvisation kind of uh, turns Turned me out right. You kind of might have uh, recognized that I have certain speech patterns where I stutter or repeat or talk like somebody with a stroke. And this has this has been a kind of a symptom, a case that has been uh, going on for like about a year, I'd say. And I don't like where it's heading because if you talk like somebody who has a stroke. You might be getting a stroke. And your stroke is not good. Well, uh, let's not focus on this negative shit. Like, I want to focus on uh, kind of finishing school, doing my next album, finishing this fucking book. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this in every other vlog. And uh, yeah, stuff like that. Also, there will be a vlog that will be released. I'd say uh, next year. I think the main goal was, I kind of released it also by accident. The main goal was to release it like 10 years or so. And it's set now one year. And uh, yeah, I kind of released it and then I hit it again. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. Also nice to mention is uh, I have these thin soles on my shoes. These thin soles are kind of uh, sticking very hardly in my very flat foot, my urbanized foot, like the human normal foot of an inner, inner, inner city walker, not a day walker, just an inner city walker, and uh, kind of hurts and stings because uh, 
I'm not used to running around on these little pebbles. If I did this on a daily basis, I'd get like, you know, what is this, scalars? Or like calluses? You know, big, like, thick skin, skin for extra skin protection, like it's yellow, kind of protects you from sharp shit and whatnot. Like, uh, yeah. And this is uh, what might be developed in the further future and uh, kind of protects me then from these shitty sticky stones in my thin soles. So there is that. Yeah. I have like uh, feverish dreams of using certain programs. Like I want to use them so fucking bad. But every day gets shorter, man. I kind of wish I could uh, turn around time, man. This is not cool when the day runs out of hours. But uh, it's so far very chill, chill out, I'd say. Almost. Most boring and annoying shit about all this is like uh, driving around from Altmannstein to Munich and from Munich back to Altmannstein and rinse and repeat. This is very tiresome. But uh, the maximum I'd have to surf, it's called it's serving, like a sentence, present sentence, would be from now we almost have July. Um, from July till the 1st of September. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. So we have two months and like, let's call it five days. Therefore, like maximum of 65 days, I'd say. Not even 65 days. And uh, divided by the times I have to drive through Munich, the maximum would be like four or three times. So worst of the worst scenarios would be like, 65 divided by 4, which would be, um, uh, why did I, why did I come up with this fucking formula? Uh, 65 divided by 4, what is that shit? Uh, like 10, 15, 16 weeks. No, 16 uh, days divided by driving, this makes no sense. What it kind of does. 16 times the trouble or hassle I have to go through. Which isn't that long of a time. Also kind of seeing like this dude with lights on. Well, I don't know what this fuck is. But it kind of makes me annoyed. I think it's like a... Uh, peasant. Doing some stuff with farming. Or is it a car? I think it's a peasant. But either way, I'll kind of stop uh, talking right now. Or do I? What the fuck, man? Ah, oh, okay, this is very distant. Uh, I'd say the darkness kind of removes the ability for you to uh, recognize the distance of certain uh, people or light elements around you. And uh, also very interesting to mention is when I'm driving on the highway there's like kind of a lot of scientific articles right you're not able to recognize the speed uh, when you're driving and somebody's driving in front of you and this is uh, either I'm very good at this or I mean you can can kind of train it but you can kind of get somewhat good at it you will never approach perfect distance, so to say, like, when you drive 100 kilometers, somebody else is driving 120 kilometers, you won't recognize the distance between you two, that this person in front of you is faster, therefore you have to increase speed to keep the same distance, but you uh, sort of get a hang of it, and it will take you a couple of seconds to adjust. This is what I'm saying, like, yeah, nature didn't uh, give us these abilities, but it's not like we're missing very much. It's kind of nice to see that the brain can adjust this shit. Like I saw this video with one dude like, riding a bicycle, and then he got like a uh, technical engineering friend or something like that, who built him a steering wheel with like uh, 
headline. I don't know what this shit is called. You see it in all industrial things. This with the teeth kind of, and it's uh, turning around. That's clocks. Very mechanical basic parts are turning around and it's turning other things around. And uh, yeah, somebody developed like a bike for him. So when he steers left, the wheel goes to the right. And when he steers right, the wheel goes to the left. It's like real brain fuckery. Yeah, it kind of pro prove the point that uh, even if you're old, it will take you a couple of months to adjust. But when you get it, you just get it, man. There, then you have to hang with it. And uh, like his son, something uh, learned it in one week. And he had to like try out the shit for nine months. Okay, so I've got fucking spider whips all over my face and arm. And this walk turned out pretty good and long. And I'm gonna do, like I said in the beginning, a beautiful mixture of old school stuff and new school stuff. Therefore, I'll be applying effects on this. Like a little bit of down pitching, like three cents, I'd say, and reverb. And I suppose it'll turn out right. Uh, but I just uh, recognized that I'm running around and the microphone has no wind shield, therefore the recording will be like. <laughs> uh, yeah, sucks to be you, mate. Sucks to be you the one true subscriber dude watching like this full fucking piece like kudos thanks for listening man well, i hope you stick around I kind of plan on doing a lot of cool shit i have like so many notes of cool video material like with every video like two new video ideas spawn of like uh, 60 video ideas right now and not able to perform any of them because time is fucking running out i have to hire people I have to pay him to do my shit. So it'd be beautiful, like, everyone, like, sort of has, like, some Matrix shit on their head, like, USB connector, you know, or Ghost in the Shell type of shit, and they come to my head, you know, and they just plug in, and they kind of dedicate tests for, like, five employees that I have, and that I pay pretty good, and everyone is happy. Nobody wants to leak my uh, shitty concepts or ideas and take them for themselves like ghost writing or stealing ideas or whatnot. They're just like plugging into my head, uh, taking like their schedule, like produce this video. This is my main video idea. Like they just plug in, ding, copy this idea and plug it out. Ding, 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 you know, and uh, just do this thing. And I'm like relaxing. And while I'm relaxing, everybody, everybody's doing my work. But the beautiful thing is, I don't have to explain jack shit because say, I have the exact vision of me in my mind, even though certain visions only develop while you're doing your project. Yeah, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm listening to some, uh, some... Do you hear this guy screaming in the distance? I'd say, uh, he might be under the influence of alcoholic beverages. Yeah. So, uh, listening to some... Oh, nice police car somewhere. Can you see the blue lights? Yeah, you can see them. So, uh, listening to one or two tracks and then I'm already there. Uh -huh. Then it's only 30 minutes of driving. Goodbye, dear folks. See you next time. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba ba da ba 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 by the way, these are like the frogs on the sea that we have. I used to live like near around the area and I kind of had like this reoccurring flashback like with uh, uh, tool songs. For, uh, what is it? Chism and Parabola. Also the Lost Mort and Dark Ambient remixes. Like, this is the stuff. I don't know why, but these frogs remind me of this stuff and uh, my past being high on acid and running around on fields like this, tripping balls, seeing very complex geometric patterns, having weird thoughts, stuff like that. Yeah, so, wow, they're really happy that they're drunk and that they can scream. I wish I could approach this sort of type of 
normal, I think. So, third time I'm saying, well, second time I'm saying goodbye. No, for sure. Uh, goodbye, folks.